My name's David Bull. I fight out of FCP in Rochdale. I'm fighting a lad called Dan Hitchens. What I know about Dan is I think his record's three and two. Uh, he's a good, strong wrestler. He's a fit lad as well. Pretty much it. I last fought on the 24th of November last year. I fought a lad called Danny Missing for um, a title, NSAC title. My four fights, two of them have been ground and pound and two were semi-pro. So I've had headshots on the ground before. I think he's got the engine to go the distance, but it could go it could go in the first round. I will be fighting to finish after my first punch. Hey, my name is Dan Hitchens. My fight record has three wins and two losses. I fight under the amateur A class rules. I've been fighting now for over a year now, I'd say. About a year and a half. I would say I'm well round all rounded, so I don't actually have an area. I'm all the way around. So like the stand up, like the wrestling, ground game as well. I'm training out of MCR Undisputed over in Radcliffe. I've been at MCR Undisputed now for around two and a half years. My coach and cornerman's Martin Stapleton, who's a fantastic fighter, all-round fighter. He's, a, he's an animal. I've not always trained out of FCP, no. I've, I've trained from Predators as well in Manchester. Retiring after this one, not really a career for me, it's just a hobby. Got to recover, got to let my body rest. Got a little baby that I want to spend time with family so I'll just uh, I think I'll just chill out for a few months. After about six months usually I start getting itchy fingers and I, I start wanting to focus for something so more than likely after the summertime I'll probably be ready for it again and then I'll be doing it all again saying this is it my last time and then vicious circle. The next show is um, Lockdown MMA 2. My last show was um, FCC 1. Got finished by an armbar in the first round. Um, I see this fight going quite well for me. I think I can technically am better than him and all around better than him. I've not been coming to the gym every night leaving my little boy at home just to get shown up. Definitely not. Yeah I'm ready for a fight. I started uh, training with Will, Will Burke and doing a lot of submission wrestling and I just wanted to put it, put the skills to the test so I wanted to get in there and just have a go at it. That was, it was always just intended to just have one fight, just to have a go and see what it's like, and it's gone on from there, really. He might have the, uh, the legs, but I've got the experience. I nothing personal to say to him, but I just hope he comes with a good game, because I want to fight. And as much as I'd love to win straight away, part of me doesn't want a quick fight, part of me wants to have a fight. I do like a good fight. Um, I think I could pair very well. As I said, I'm very technical, and I think I'm more technical than him. Um, he may have the strength factor on me, but fitness-wise, I outweigh him by a ton. I mean, they've got a big name like Martin Stapleton, but we've got some of the best coaches in the country, ranging from like Jason Ram with the wrestling. He's had 30 years in wrestling and judo. We've got Scott, who's just brilliant at MMA and grappling. And recently, we've got Darren Phillips. There's no satisfaction in in a first 30 second win. I've put too much training into it for that. I just, I just like to fight someone who's going to get beat. <laughs> get prepared to fight, because I am. I'm ready. Doesn't matter how, stand up, ground game. I've got my arm raised at the end of it. Let's go!